Hello everyone, this is Pujita. Welcome to Talent Battle. In this video, we are going to solve TCS NQT specific previous year questions. Like, share, subscribe our channel for more videos like this. If you are looking for detailed preparation, we have complete master class in which we are going to cover aptitude, coding, DSA, interview preparation, communication practice, company specific trainings, projects, latest technologies like full stack development, data science and many other things. For more details, please connect with us. Let's start now. The cost of filling a gas tank in a shop is 800 rupees. If the shopkeeper reduces the price by 15%, the number of customers is increased by 30%. So actual price was 800 rupees. Uh, than the if he reduces the price by 15%, 50% reduction, then the customers is going to be increased by 30%. Than the usual customers, 30% of the customers are coming more. So we need to identify what is the percentage increase or decrease in the revenue. When he decreased the price, there might be some change in the revenue. He's not going to give it right now for 800. He's reducing it. Though the customers are increasing, there might be some increase or else decrease. So they are asking us to identify what is the value. So how we will solve? One thing is to assume the variables like x and y. But let's not do like this. Let's assume a value. Let us suppose number of customers is equals to 10. I'm just imagining 10 to make my calculation easier. You can imagine 100, 200, any value. So let's imagine number of customers are 10. And what is the cost of filling it? 800 rupees. That means how much would be the revenue that the shopkeeper will get? 10 customers, 800 rupees each. Each one is 800 rupees. The cost of filling a gas tank is 800 rupees. So 800 into 10, 8000 rupees will be the revenue. Right now what is happening? The cost is reduced by 15% reduction. So how much is 15% days of 800? The cost is going to be reduced by 15. So we need to reduce this value. So 15 percentage of 800 means 12 rupees will be reduced. 12 rupees is going to be reduced. Oh, sorry, not 12. 110 uh, 120 rupees is going to be reduced. So from 800, if I reduce 120 rupees, right now the cost he is saying is 680 uh, rupees. Okay. And the customers, what going to happen? Increase by 30%. So 30% of 10 is how much? On the customers, 30% increase. So three people. So 13 people are going to be there now. So what is the revenue? 13 people, each one 680 rupees. That means 8,840 rupees. 8,840 rupees. So before case, 10 people and 800 rupees. 8,000 is the revenue. Right now, 13 people with 30% of increase and 15% of reduction here, 680. So it will be 8,840. So it is definitely an increase. And how much is the increase? Difference divided by the initial value, the starting revenue in 200. What is the difference? 840 divided by what is the initial value? It's 8,000. 8,000 became 8,840. So 8,000 in 200. So these zeros will get cancelled. And 8 means 10.5 percentage. So how much is the percentage of increase? 10.5. They did not specify whether it is increase or decrease. They just ask us the percentage. Sometimes they might give plus 10.5 percent, minus 10.5 percent also. At that time, you should carefully absorb the symbols too. Right now, it is 10.5 percent. Option A is the correct answer. Option A. So instead of assuming X and then doing it, X and the price and all, if we assume like this, it will be a little easy. If we take a number which is comfortable for our calculation, then solving the problem will become easy. Assumption will work out for this kind of questions. So a logical question may be thinking like the data is more and uh, takes time to calculate. So let's see. A medical legal team consists of six members formed by selecting expert members from among six law experts. So there are six law experts, A, B, C, D, E, F. These are law experts. And then there are five medical experts, G, H, J, K, L. These are medical experts. So there must be a team that is formed uh, by using them. We need to form a six members team and we need to take these people. 
and they has given us uh, the conditions here there are totally almost 11 people six eye experts and five medical experts means 11 people are there in this 11 people they has given us some of the conditions so let's see uh, there must be uh, at least three medical experts in a team so if you take a team of six members three medical experts at least three medical experts should be there from this people minimum three people should be there it can be even four five also but minimum three people should be there three medical experts should be there if b is selected j must also be selected if you are going to take b then you must even select j if f and k are selected then c and d are not supposed to be selected and vice versa if you are going to select if f and k are selected then c or d should not be taken okay if this are taken then this should not be taken vice versa means reverse order should also follow if these are taken this should not take E and L have to be selected together. So if you always needs to take E and L together, D and J cannot come together in a team. So if D is that J cannot come, J is that D cannot come. A cannot be selected only if uh, K is also selected and vice versa. So if A is there, K should also be there. If K is there, A should also be there. Okay. So these are the conditions they have given. But to but for us generally to form. Uh, a team by using this will be a little bit difficult. There might be so many possibilities that might come, and we cannot waste our time by thinking each and every possibility. This might be the case, or this might be the case. So we cannot waste more time also in that. So than that, there is a simple method that you can do. Whenever the options of the team is given like this, always do option elimination process instead of arranging them. It's always easy for us if we go through options elimination process. So, what exactly was option elimination? But suppose if you look at option D, there is a specific person O who does not exist anywhere here. Yes, who does not exist at all. So that's definitely the wrong one. Okay, and then the first condition: minimum three medical experts should be there. So G H J K L minimum three people should be there from this. Uh, G is there, H is there, J is there. Minimum three is yes, happening. Uh, J is there, K is there, L is there. Okay, minimum three. Fine. K is there, J is there. That's it. Only two people are there. So is this a correct answer? Minimum three people should be there. At least three people should be definitely there. So that is not there. So this is a wrong answer. So that goes away. So that is definitely wrong. Now in this two only, I need to check. So minimum three people are not there. This is wrong, and this is wrong. Now, if B is selected, J must be selected. Okay, uh, we'll uh, use any other. Uh, if uh, K and uh, this is there, then C and D should not be there. E and L to be together. E and L is there together. D and J cannot come together in a team. See here, D and J cannot come together in a team. This is a hint for us. Instead of coming together, they cannot come. If we uh, check, this is a hint for us. D and J cannot come together, but they both are here. So that is also wrong. So what is the answer? The leftover one option B. So I can easily solve like this instead of picking out each and everything. Always go like this. So first you are supposed to select minimum three people. This is wrong because of completely a different variable. In this only two people are there, so this is wrong. And D and J cannot come together, but they are together here, so this is wrong. So it's just a simple option elimination process. So what's the answer? Option B is the correct one. option b so some of the questions we can do option el elimination process whenever you have options like this where the team is already given and the conditions are there always go with option elimination option b is the correct answer i hope you understood the questions that we discussed in this video for more videos like this please subscribe our channel thank you